Hey y'all, it's Jack and Joe. It's Editing Joe here again, and I'm finally getting uh, together part three of Billy's Beaches. So y'all stay tuned and um, check out what we did on Thursday and Friday. Thursday was Universal Studios and Friday was our big dinner night out, which we were treated by Laura with Mad Mimi's Crochet. It was very nice of her. And, um, and then Saturday was everybody leaving. It was sad. <laughs> so stay tuned. The next day was Thursday and, um, there were five of us that went to, um, Universal Studios. Cindy, um, Freeze Baby Fiber, her husband works at Universal Studios and he was able to get tickets to go in for free for whoever wanted to go. And, um, so only five of us chose to go, me, Nicole, Crystal, and, um, and then this time also Nancy with She's Got Yarn and Julie with Captain Stitches came. And we had a great time, although we got kind of a late start um, heading out the door because it was like a two or two and a half hour drive or something. Um, so anyway, something happened that morning with one of our girls and we got a little late start. That's okay, stuff happens. And... So by the time we got there and parked and got in the park, cause you know, that takes a while to actually, once you get there to park and actually get in the park, it's like another hour, it seems like. Um, we had like two hours before they closed. <laughs> so we made the mess, we made the best of it, of what we could, right? We, um, we knew we wanted to go straight to um, Harry Potter I did kind of want to go to Jurassic Park too, but um, I knew there was going to be no time for that. So we went to we went straight to Hard Hogwarts Express, and we got on that train ride, um, which was awesome. And so that brought us straight. Um, that brings you straight into Hogwarts, and then we stood in line to, um, which I. I I think I, I filmed, there was about 15 or so of us. They bring, they bring like 15 or so people in this one room where they have the wizard and, um, and then the wizard chooses someone out of the audience and, and then they go through this process of the wand choosing the wizard, right? The wand chooses the person. So, um, so I filmed some of that of, um, this young lady, uh, getting the wand that chose her. And we thought that we were all going to get to do that, but we didn't. We just got, you know, just the group gets to see one person do it. So anyway, then we were in the gift shop with all the, all this paraphernalia and stuff with the Harry Potter and, and that was great. And, um, after we did that, what did, oh, we got some butter beer which was delish. It tasted like, it tasted like a butterscotch cream soda with, um, with some cream on top, like a, like a thick whipped cream. It was really good. Delish. I could have had another one. And, um, and then we took some pictures in front of the Hogwarts, you know, castle and, or the school or whatever it's called. And, um, then we started making our way back to the front. <laughs> that was about all we had time for, really. Um, just walking around, looking at all the sites. You know, we walked through other parts of it. Like, I did see the outskirts of Jurassic Park. And we walked through, like, the Simpsons area. And what else? Dr. Seuss. So, we took some snapshots as we were walking through that. I took some snapshots of that. And, um... And then we spent a lot of time in the gift shops there. Um, ended up spending a lot of money um, to bring home souvenirs for my kids and stuff. So that was that was a lot of fun. Um, I did end up getting a wand. Oh, let me go get it and show you. So they have like this special thing, like when 
if you spend a certain amount of money, you know, in their gift shops, um, you get a wand for free. And um, so this is the one that I chose. It's it's Harry Potter. How could I, I mean, if I'm gonna get one wand, I at least gotta get Harry Pot Potter, right? I did think about getting Hermione, but I ended up with Harry Potter. Let's see if I can get it out the box. Here we go. So this is Harry Potter's wand, y'all. This is what it looks like. Now, these are interactive in the, um, in the park. But, of course, I never got to use it, so um, if I ever go back, I'll bring it with me so I can use it in the park. <laughs> Other than that, I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may end up giving it to somebody as a gift or just keep it around here and have a little fun with it. <laughs> so, anyway, so there's my Harry Potter wand. And... What else? So then that brings us to Friday. Can you believe it just went that quick? So Friday, um, there was a small group of us went to um, do a little shopping and walking around St. Armand Circle and all their little shops and whatnots. So um, that's kind of what we did Friday. And then we had to uh, get ready for a big night out at um, this restaurant called The Beach House, which was in St. Mary's. Miss Mary something, St. Mary something. Anyway, so right down the road from Lido Key um, was this other beautiful little area. I don't know if it was called Long Beach. Anyway. So we were at this beautiful restaurant and I thoroughly enjoyed every moment there. Um, we were there for sunset and the pictures are, um, I'll show you some pictures of some, some set, sunset pictures. And then we were sitting under this covered area, you know, outside and then there was the beach. So... We took a few pictures on the beach. Well, me and Nicole and Nancy did anyway on the beach. <laughs> Most people just stayed at the table. And um, so we ventured out there to take a few pictures. We had to put our toes in the sand, right? <laughs> hey, Edit Joe here. Um, Nicole and I were having so much fun taking those beach pictures at sunset, we decided to post them as our official engagement pictures. Yay! <laughs> Just kidding, wink, wink. <laughs> and we had a really good time. Um, under, when the sun, after the sun went down, we were under like this glow of like reddish orange lights, which I think, so you, so you can see, but it doesn't attract the bugs right? So, um, we took a bunch of pictures because we were all orange. You see that? <laughs> well, at least I did. Anyway, I took a bunch of pictures. <laughs> I'm like, look, we're all Oompa Loompas. <laughs> and, um, so it was our last night, our big gathering. Um, we had a great dinner. I had the mo that had the best crab cakes I've ever had. And y'all, we have really good crab cakes here where I live. You know, I live on the Gulf Coast too. And these were just like top notch. I must have had a pound of lump white crab meat sitting on my plate. I mean, oh, so good. And that kind of con concluded our, our trip as we all got back to the house. Billy did a live. Um, if you want to go see that, it's at her, it's on her channel. And um, so she did a live from the house and we all kind of joined in. I jo I've kind of joined in at the very beginning and then me and Nicole and Crystal, um, we got in our, our car. To, Crystal actually stayed at a hotel nearby. So I had to go bring her back. 
and um, Billy continued her live. So I did watch it when I got back or the next day or something, watch the rest of it. But so on the way back after dropping off Crystal, Nicole, I told Nicole, I'm like, we never did get to go get a picture with the, the big kissing statue, you know? And so we did that. So we, we found it and we stopped by there and it was really nice because they had this, um, so they had some worshipers there and they were playing this beautiful worship music and, um, it was just, it turned out to be a really beautiful evening to just end the day with that. And it was so nice. Um, so we got some pictures by the statue and, um, we were able to sleep more peacefully that night. And, and that was basically it. And then the next morning is the mad rush to get out the door to get, start getting, packing up the vehicles and getting people to the airport, you know? We just had a great time, and I want to thank everyone so much that went on this trip to um, make it such a, a joyous occasion. Everybody pitched in, and um, it was great. We had a wonderful time. Thanks, y'all, <laughs> for sticking around for this Billy Beaches shenanigans. <sighs> we had such an amazing time, and... I know there's been a lot of talk about um, planning a trip for next year. So if anybody's interested, um, I guess get a hold of Sharon's Zoom group if you want to meet with us next year. I don't, um, I think we should wait till next year before we start planning it. But, you know, there's a lot of talk going on and I don't know uh, where or when or or anything, but, um, I will look forward to it. It was amazing. I would, um, love to go on any other, uh, trips with all of you yarny people. If anybody plans one, let me know, because maybe I can join in. I would love that. Um, yeah. So y'all be kind and be blessed and I'll see you next time. I'll tack on those videos I took at Universal Studios with um, a little ride on the Hogwarts Express and also um, um, the wizard at the um, the sorting house. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, a bunch of pictures. So, if you're interested in that, keep watching. <laughs>
had it made of two, but you say, I am the one caper, and her, it is the wand that chooses, the wizard, and what's your name? Sophia. Sophia, just her. Mm. Miss Sophia, which is your wand arm, right or left? Arm, um, right arm. Now you may know that every, or the bundle wand, has a core of a powerful magical substance. You use you look on her, three next tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. No two of the bundle wands are the same. Just as no two unicorns, dragons or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you'll never get such good results with another wizard's wand. To begin. For you, the wand of Alda. Now, this Alda wand is 17 and one half inches. It's a little bit soft. The core of unicorn hair. If you want, take up the wand for me. And stepping back just a tiny bit. I would like you to draw this ladder a bit closer to you. So simply point your wand and say, Accio ladder. Accio ladder. <laughs> For me. So hold your wand up high, concentrating from the tip of the wand, say Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> Meteoritics! Lucante! No. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's always been clear. It is the wand that chooses the wizard. It is, however, not always clear. Why? I wonder. If you want. collection of wands through either door. And thank you for selecting. Yeah. Couples? Like I would get that one and you would get that one. 